Good, happy Tuesday evening, August 11, 2015. I'm Riley King, and welcome to the Riley King Newscast, right here on the Riley King Network. Let's get started now. First up, Nashua Police investigate reports of shots fired. Nashua Police are investigating a report of multiple shots fired in the city on Tuesday. The shots were fired in the area of Grand and Stevens Avenues. As a precaution, the Boys and Girls Club of Greater Nashua was placed on lockdown while police investigated. The lockdown was lifted after 4 p.m. New Hampshire Rand Paul throws political jabs at Donald Trump. Republican presidential hopeful Rand Paul is in New Hampshire this week and still swinging at Donald Trump. Question what Trump really stands for. The U.S. Senator from Kentucky started the morning headline, The Politics and Eggs Event at New Hampshire Institute of Politics at St. Elms College. Scattered showers, storms move through Tuesday. Scattered rain showers and thunderstorms moved through the Granite State on Tuesday. The heaviest showers and storms are expected in late morning and afternoon hours. Some spots could see more than any inch of rainfall. Federal judge rules Ballot selfies don't encourage voter fraud. The New Hampshire law banning voters from posting pictures of completed ballots online squalish free speech and isn't needed to prevent election fraud, a federal judge ruled Tuesday. In his ruling, U.S. District Court Judge Paul Barriabaro, it said it's squalitian to think people will be considered into selling voters if they can post the image online. During arguments in June, lawyers for the state acknowledged there are no known cases of vote buying or Kirkcon in New Hampshire. Shea Porter says support for p potential congressional bid has been wonderful. Former U.S. Representative Carol Shea Porter said Tuesday the leave of support she has received from her former constitution in the 1st Congressional District since last November, and especially since her former foe's campaign finance troubles arose in spring has been wonderful. Federal judge orders Goodwill Brady sides to try to reach settlement. The federal judge are assigned to Wednesday's deflate gate hearing in New York has ordered both sides to continue to try to week work out a settlement. Manchester man accused of falsifying reporting he was stabbed. A man accused of calling police to report a stabbing that did not happen has been arrested. 
authorities said Adam Whitmer, 21, of Manchester, called Manchester Police, identifying himself as Chris Mangan, and said he was stabbed in the kidney and provided a clothing description for the suspect. Man out on bail in previous burglary, accused in Dover break-in. A man who was out on bail, steaming from a burglary charge, has been arrested in connection with another burglary, according to authorities. Main man arrested on drug charges in Newington. A 45-year-old main man is accused of trying to obtain methylphenidine by fraud in Dover Police, said Douglas L. Callahan of South Berwick, Maine, was arrested Friday in Newington. He allegedly tried to get methamphetamine from the Hannaford Pharmacy on Central Street Police, said. He was released on 200,000 personal recognition bail and is due in court August, October 27th. Missing kayaker found dead in Hudson. The body found in the Hudson River on Monday near the Paguacati Yachik Club is missing kayaker Ian Jones, authorities said. And that does it for the Riley King newscast right here on the Riley King Network. I hope you have a great rest of your Tuesday night. Good night, everyone. Bye.